Right, hello everyone. We're out today. Again, we got Gilly with us. And Morning. basically today, I just had an idea of, essentially I just wanted to do a big multi-species day where we can pretty much go up the river and catch a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm gonna talk you through what we're doing when we're doing it, but we're gonna get right into fishing. Let's get it. All right, so starting off today at the mouth of the river before we work our way up. And we've got these oyster rocks that kind of push all along the bank here. Starting off with the drunk mullet, little top water. See how we go on that. Yeah, so Gilly's got a plastic on. I'm gonna run the top water. We'll see what's working. And if we need to change, we can change. Oh, as soon as it landed. Got bops. Got him? Little Trez. Oh, what's on him? More. Many more. Hey, Brim. Oh, no, that shows. See you, mate. Big belly flops. So rude. No nibs on the top water. Surely, cast between the rocks. <laughs> Nearly took out the dingus. That is very rude. Ultra Valley. <laughs> and he just hit it with some pace though. Oh yeah. He's micro. Not fully looking away. Yeah bud. Well at least we got a nib from something. Something on the board to start the day. Like I said, big multi-species day. We're just gonna try and catch a bunch of different stuff. We're just kinda waiting for that tide at the moment. When we get closer to that tide change, I'm going to push in fish rock bars, see if we can catch a finger mark. Oh, that, that's a fish. Ending. <laughs> Codly. Flatty. You're kidding. Flatty pursuit. Off the rock, man. Yeah. Flatty Lord, here we go. Get in the boat, you little fine specimen. Whoa! Whoa. Foot seeker, eh? I'm gonna hold him up, man. I'll try. <laughs> and, no, go under this, under the front, because you'll get done by the um the gill ones. It's alright, I've got him. Okay. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> I hate flathead, hey. Yeah, they're hard to hold. Oh, he's on it. Oh. He hooned over to it. Yeah. Oh, he's on it, Jack. He's still on it. <laughs> Not much more luck around the rocks. We're going to make a move, head up the river, fish something a little bit different. All right, we've just moved a fair bit and we've just come over the top of this here. What this is, it's a pretty sizable rock bar and we've just come down current of it. I'm going to cast back up current just as we went over the top um, there's a stack of finger mark actually sitting on there so it's about 13 about 13 meters away on the right side and so we'll just be punching casts up current and working our lures back. Starting off with little 85 mil armor prawn I was recording, Gilly hooks up 
first cast. I haven't even had a cast yet. Seems okay. Finger. There we go. Target, Target species. species acquired. First cast. I knew I saw a stack on the sounder. Oh, he's pretty well hooked. Just to eat him in. Nice. There we go. First bloody cast. First cast. First fish on the drop. We nailed it. Is he legal? He would be bloody close. That's on the flick prawn there. Bloody lovely. I reckon measure him, eh? Yeah. Well, I knew those fish that we saw on the sounder were finger mark, and literally I didn't even get to get a cast in and Gilly's hooked one. So, hopefully a few more to come. Well and truly. What are they meant to be? 38 or something? 35. 35? Oh! He's like 42, 43 centimetres. Legal size is 35. And they are one of the tastiest fish going. So he's going straight in the esky. Bowls, that one's for you, mate. And we're going to see if we can get a couple more. I'll get it. I'll see if we can get a cast in, really. Oh my god! That was... Back the drag off my. <laughs> <laughs> he swallowed it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wasn't even looking. I looked back and there was just something behind it. Just ate. It scared the life out of me. Wow, man. Oh, my barra. What can you do? <laughs> I wish I was looking. Just pull him in and unhook him. Very quick. Quick hold up. Oh, I got a little barra. There you go. And he's good to go. See you, mate. Send it back. It is close season, so you got to be. We're gonna be quick with him, but we make, gotta make sure you also get him unhooked and all good to go. Go again. What the far out, man? <laughs> oh! I got something. Oh! Wow. Gilly, what are you doing to me, mate? <laughs> oh. That's not a small one. No, I know. They've only got 30 pound leader. 30 pound leader. <laughs> we're not. We're yeah. not we're not here chasing I got, barra, man. I got 30 on as well. <laughs> Standard. Oh, so it looks like a half decent fish, dude. Yeah, it is. Oh, he's good. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I did set it up to school fingers on the front, but there was always a chance there was going to be a barra here. We got the net. We'll make sure we get him. Unhooked and safely released if we can. Man, the heat was wild. Mm, he sent it. Fish man, yeah, he's um, mid 80s, surely. Yeah, let's be quick here. Yeah, we'll try to be quick with him. There we go. Not while we're after, but, but can't avoid it. I'll get this out. Beautiful, watch that line. All right, let's 
Let's get him back straight away. I'll come down to you. Rub on the top of the mouth, get him moving. See you, mate. Nice. Now, like I said, we aren't chasing Barra. Literally, 30 pound, 30 pound leader. <laughs> We've got the light rods. Literally, <laughs> sounded up school finger mark. What can you do? Um, you, you chase Barra and it doesn't happen. Exactly. <laughs> because there's a couple Barra here, I'm not gonna. We're not going to fish anymore. I'm just going to move on. Going to leave them, let them spawn, let them do their thing. Going to move up the river a bit more, fish another little rock bar. See if we can find some more finger mark. Alrighty, just moved up the river a little bit. It's much nicer down here, much less wind. Now there's another rock bar in here. I've got it marked, but um, we just come down current of it. Going to do the same thing, cast back up current. We're just about to hit the top of the tide in here. Silly of me. I thought I bumped a rock. I just sat there. Nah, that's really cool, eh? Yep. Oh! What are you doing? How am I not hooking up? This thing's only trebles. <laughs> Ending? Cod. How much money for a cod? Oh, it's a finger mark! Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it and then say how much. What do you mean, man? Get in the boat! I literally said to myself today, I'm not using a flick prong because I've been using them too much. I'm just watching Gilly just outfish me by a mile with the, with the flick prawn. Just slaying at the moment, eh? He's a bit too small, but that's all right. Target species. Send him. You landed a fish yet, Bob? One trevally. Oh. This is 100% a little cod. Oh, no. What'd you say? It's a... Moses, Moses Perch. Perch man. <laughs> you gotta stop calling cod, eh? <laughs> oh my god. This the eat was so cod like. Oh my god. Are you kidding? That's, he doesn't that's, know he's hooked. That's better, oh, eh? Bit of weight. I don't think. Oh no, he does. Another oh. finger mark. Stop. What is this? I'm getting stitched up here, eh? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, he's much better. He'd be the best one yet. I think he's bigger than that first one. Mm. He just projectile pooed on my foot. Well, I'll get... That's another one for the box then. Yeah. I'll get this fake... This fake finger mark out of here. Bloody hell. Beautiful. Whoa! You dog. Here we go. There we go. Target species. Can't complain with that. No. He's a beautiful corn. little guy. Catching every fish today. Mm. Well, he's got the same fate as the first one. He's going the esky. Couple beautiful size finger mark. Just spat this thing up. That's a moon crab. Look at him. Pretty funky. Bloody hell, I'm getting stitched up today, eh? <laughs> well, it's normally you out fishing me. You know what it is. What? It's because you're using my lure. <laughs> Literally. Wonder if I'll ever catch a fish again. Look. Today, probably not, Paul. <laughs> it's not my day, eh? No. You'll get it. Try my curly prawn again. Uh. Run tide change here. 
First cast and change the lure. It's a bit of weight. Unless I'm just because I'm using the light rod. Nah. He He's done it. Nice work, Polly. Very small boy, but target specky. It's target specky. Quite a small one, but that's what we're after today. He's a bit small, so we're getting back. Meow. This week that we've got right now is crazy. We have barramundi close season, we have Spanish close season, and then we have coral reef fin closure all at once. It's like we can fish for like five species. Finger mark is one of them, and we're having fun, you know. A bit of light tackle up the creek, up the river. Yeah, look at these dogs. Oh, On the sink. I'm literally looking at the sounder. On the s what is this? Oh, it's a big, good finger. Really? Not big, but better. Oh, nice balls. Literally on the sink. You right on the net? I uh, might need the net, eh? 20. I've only got 20 pound on. legs break. Oh, he's got whacked. Oh. Can he not? Yeah. Nice. Sheet him in. He's going in the box anyway. I think that Oh, oh <laughs> stitched up. I knew I was. That's literally what we're after today. A few of these for the box. They're one of the tastiest fish going, especially at this size. And really cool looking fish. Put up a good fight on a light tackle as well. Had probably five minutes of casting with the armor prawn, switched over to little curly prawn, and two finger mark and two casts. Now, like I knew they were there, we sanded them up on the front of that rock bar, and we've got a few now, so it's looking good. Things, things are turning up. But yeah, he's going in the esky as well, and that's probably all we'll really keep for today. Three is heaps, and just be fishing for fun the rest of the day. That just goes to show another perfect example of even though you're seeing fish there, you've spent 10 minutes casting at them. It really pays to change lures once, twice, three, sometimes five times. When you really want to get that particular fish, it can, it, it can pay off sometimes, as you've just seen. Got him. <laughs> Got him that time, balls. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's a sand bass. Oh, whoa, that's cool, man. <laughs> that's really cool. Sand bass lord. Nice. Oh, oh. Hey, mate. Very graceful. The tide's just swung around and um, it started to run out. So it's actually coming the other way and it's hitting the complete opposite side of the rock bar. So we've just moved onto that side and just had a quick scan over. Uh, we've just gone over a stack of fish here. Have a look on the sounder there. And as you saw, stack of fish sitting there. So I've just driven up current a little bit, killed the outboard, and we're gonna drift back. And then once we go past them, spot lock with the electric, cast back up current, bring our lures with the current naturally into their faces. Fingers crossed they eat. Got him? Oh, is that good? There's the cod. Sheesh! Bit of too many head shakes for a cod, surely. Yes, Gilly, my hero. The better one. Mm. On the ultra light here. 10 pound, 20 pound litre. <laughs> yeah! Oh, pull him! <laughs> there we go. Oh, he'd be the best one yet. Nice! We're just getting bigger in size. 
That is unreal, man. Nice. Look at it there. There we go. That's not a bad one, hey. The biggest one yet. Well over that 50 centimetres for sure. On that light gear. Look. Can't complain with that. Out to get them and we're getting them. I'll release this one, eh? You reckon? Yeah, okay. Oh, we can keep him. It's up to you, I don't care. Nah. He's been pretty good. Well, he was. As you say that. I know some people would have probably had a heart attack seeing us release that fish, but we've got a few in the esky. That's plenty. Plenty enough for us for, you know, a couple of days. So uh, no stress, not going to keep anything more than we really need to. And it's good to put a couple back anyway. It's good. It's good fish karma. But yeah, literally goes to show the point. We had a tide change. It switched from running in to running out. We were on one side, the front face of the current, the very front of the rock bar, the tide was pushing into with the run in. That completely changes when the tide switches. So we had the, the run out started kicking in. So we pushed to the opposite side of the rock bar with this run out tide starting. And as you've seen, fish straight away on the sounder and two casts in, Gilly got that nice finger. So just goes to show, even though you're catching fish on one spot, you got to take in the conditions that are happening around you. You can't just keep casting at the same spot because even though you caught fish there, doesn't mean they're going to still be there with the, with the tide changing. So we're going to get back into it anyway. Mm. So rude. All right, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there'll be a tray in that bottom, in the bottom with um, weedless hooks. Oh, on the wind. Oh, it's actually not that small. Where are you going? Oh yeah. Look at me go, Gilly. What'd you get? Finger. Oh, stop it. You're my hero, Balls. We're up to about, surely, more than half a dozen, six or seven. Easy. Killing the game. Whoa, projectile spoos. Oh he just did the same thing the other one did. Whoa. Okay. Bending. You see that? No, I wasn't looking. Godly. I'm actually surprised that that's our first cut of the day. After all, like, how I much? I got one earlier, remember? Oh yeah. I was gonna say, how much rocks have we been fishing? Sorry, buddy. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh no! That was a good fish, bro. <sighs> Bastard. Ooh. Like prawn feed. Yeah, right. Oh, 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 he's on the rocks for a sec. God. Oh, <laughs> another finger mark. Jesus, whacking him. There we go. Oh, see you, mate. On the sink. This is so small. Yeah. God, God. Ow. Spike me. That launch at. Oh. This is like a heavy cod. Bigger cod. Or it's just. Have I got a rock? Oh, stick. Mint. Ooh. Good stick. Good stick. All right, so the tide's really picked up now and it's running pretty hard. So we're going to push even further up the river where it's going to hopefully not be running so hard. And yeah, we'll see what's going on up there anyway. All right, so we went up the river a bit and it's bloody running super hard. We're only a day out from the moon, so the current is zooming. So just made a, an executive decision. And we've come back out the front to the rocks and we're fishing it now on the run out tide versus the run in early this morning. And I'm just going to start off with the four inch paddle bait and just try and catch best I can. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Jesus, that was a doink. Oh. Yeah. That's fucking trash, isn't it? Just be that little slower than all the rest. Oh! No way. Oh! What was that? I don't know. That's what it was. Cooter? Yeah. <laughs> ah. Bastard. Alright, well, we gave a red hot crack on the rocks, but no good. It's pretty much a complete dead zone. And the wind's really starting to pick up, and we got this rain that's. Um, not very far away. I'm not sure we're going to make it back to the boat ramp without getting saturated, but uh, we're going to head now before we're just sitting in it for a long period of time. But it was a good fun little day in the end for what a, a day that was literally, you know, 15 knots, big tides, you know, tough conditions. We made a pretty good day out of it. Come out and did exactly what I really wanted to do for the most part. Get some finger mark off the rock bars. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway, and I'll see you next time. Peace.